Hi, my name is Bibi Ken. Welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another shawl tutorial. If you want to see all my other shawls, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet this really nice and soft shawl. It uh, works up really fast because we are working with a very big hook and we have all these gaps. So it doesn't take up a lot of time to do and you will get this done fairly quick. This isn't hard to do. I will show you from the very beginning to the end exactly how to do so you can follow even if you're a beginner. So let's begin. First, I want to talk a little about the materials. For the yarn, I've used this Amigo yarn from Hobby. This is in a titanium color in a lightweight three. Other than that, I've used this Mohair yarn. This is also from Hobby and called Diablo. And this is a gray color. I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need of each color. Then I've used a seven millimeter crochet hook and some scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. So let's begin. First you take the two yarns and put them together as one. Then you grab your hook and then we create a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain three, so yarn over, pull through three times and three. Then you skip the first two chains, move on to the third one and double crochet into this. So yarn over, insert the hook in the third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then in this same chain, you will do another double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three double crochet. Then we chain two, one, two, then we turn the work, and then this one counts as the first double crochet. We will do another two double crochet this first stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So now we have two double crochet in the first one. We will do another double crochet. So just yarn over and in insert the hook in the same stitch again. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three double crochet in the same stitch. Now we want to skip this next stitch. So we chain one and then we skip this next stitch. Then we move on to the final stitch over here and we work three double crochet into this. You have to catch this chain to do the double crochet into this. So just yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and work another two double crochet in the same stitch. So that's one and in the same stitch again, two. So now we have two groups of double crochet. So we have three double crochet over here, then we have a gap in between and then three double crochet. Now we chain two to turn the work. One, two, and then we turn the work. Then this one counts as the first double crochet and we will do another two double crochet in the first stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, double crochet. And another double crochet in the same stitch. So we have three double crochet in the first stitch. Now we want to skip this next one. So we chain one, skip the next stitch, do three, no, sorry, 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 
only do one double crochet in the next stitch. So skip this one and do one double crochet in the next. So yarn over, insert the hook and double crochet. So now we created a gap in between. Now we want to skip this one. So where there is a gap, we will also skip. So just chain one, skip the gap and do a double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over and double crochet. And then also skip the next one. So chain one, skip this one, and then we are at the edge. At the edge, we will always finish, <laughs> finish up with three double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook in the final stitch and double crochet. And another two double crochet in the final stitch. And one more to go. So that's three double crochet in the same stitch. So we started with three double crochet in the first stitch, then we made some gaps, and then we finished up with three double crochet in the last stitch. Now we want to chain two to turn the work. One, two, and then we turn. And we always start the same way. This one counts as the first double crochet. We will do another two double crochet in the first stitch. So yarn over and do another two double crochet in the first stitch. And then we have these next two stitches where we want to create our first gap. So chain one, skip this one and do a double crochet in the next one. And then we have all these gaps and always where there is a gap, we will also make a gap. So chain one, skip the gap and do a double crochet in the next double crochet. So in this one, so yarn over and do a double crochet. And then we have a gap again. So chain one, do a double crochet in the next double crochet. And again a gap. So chain one and do a double crochet in the next double crochet. And then we cr want to create a, uh, a gap over here. So chain one, skip the next and do three double crochet in the final stitch out here. That's one. That's two. And then the final one. That's three. So now we just continue like this. We want to do gaps on top of gaps. And we want to finish and start with three double crochet in the first and final stitch. So we begin again. Chain two, and then always begin with another two double crochet in the same stitch. So we have three double crochet to begin with to make this wider and wider. And then we want to create our first gap here. So we chain one and do double crochet here. Then we make gaps all the way across and over here. We also make a gap up here and finish with three double crochet at the end. So just continue like this back and forth until you have a shawl that's wide enough. I continued back and forth until this measures 170 centimeters across. So you have this triangle moving out with 170 centimeters across right here. 
Then I finished off with three um, double crochet in the final stitch, just like all the other rows. And then I will now cut the yarn and pull the hook through. And then I will weave in this end with my huge tapestry needle. So just thread the yarn and then in the end. If you don't know how to weave in ends, I also have a tutorial on my channel on how to weave in ends. But this is a bit different because you don't have exact stitches. This is a lot more um, fluffy and you have all these gaps. But I can still find some stitches to weave in the ends in. So just back and forth, forth through some stitches. And finally, you can cut the yarn. Whoops. Like this. And you have your shawl. Nice and warm shawl. And it's so soft. And it doesn't scratch at all. And that's it. That's it for me today. I hope you liked this tutorial and found it helpful. You are welcome to thumbs up on my channel. And also follow me if you like to do that. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.